After breakfast on Saturday morning, the team visits the Garden of the Gods, a public park filled with red rock formations located in Colorado Springs, not far from the hotel. Hey, Hooks, how you doing? Oh, great. This is awesome. Pretty cool view, huh? Oh, awesome view. Yeah? You know, like, if you, you take too many pictures, you don't live in the moment, you know? Exactly. You're just soaking it all up, huh? Yeah. It's just good. It. Not a boy. <laughs> cool. Shane, how, how's the view up here? Oh, it's great, Jeff. How's your view? It's good. <laughs> Camera, camera going there. Jeff? Hey, Forbes, ask questions about why the reds are rock. Daniel will answer them. Yeah. Daniel, yeah. why are the rocks red? Why are the rocks red? The reds are rock. Why are the rocks red? The reds are rock, uh, you know, it's very <laughs> arid, it's very arid uh, land, you know, <laughs> area. So what happens is a lot of deposition in the soil and, uh, you know, leaching occurs. Do you know what leaching is? You explain it to us, well, Dan. You know, like the little leeches? Uh -huh. Well, they grab the soil, they grab it, you know, they steal right. all the water. So it makes it very arid very dry right so that's <laughs> why you. it's red yeah you know and i don't think uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you professor dan appreciate that up there Shelby. uh i got a nice beaver hat that's it i don't even know what it is that's oh, you know the moose like it's a like this a husky, is a a husky. <laughs> that's it shane oh, oh, looks good on you bro. this one Murph, tell us. Smiles on faces. I don't think we've interviewed you yet. Oh, yeah. I don't think you've told us all about what, who you are. What do you do? Oh, I'm the uh, I'm the equipment manager. Uh, I take care of take care of these guys here. Yeah. First and foremost, though, the biggest beauty on the team, right? Uh, I don't know biggest about that. Just I don't great know about guy. that. This, this probably this guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, death metal. Number 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 one number one customer right here. Yeah, number one uh, ski sharper guy. Right number here. number oh, one customer. Oh wow! So nice so neediest guy on the team. Uh, uh, yes, by probably. far. By wow. far. Wow! Yeah. So that's Jeff Murray took the crown coming from two different sources. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, wow. we're working on him. He's getting there. Yeah. Thinking about mom. Thinking about mom. Yeah, you know. What do you? It's Christmas presents, Christmas huh? Christmas time. She's uh, retiring here soon. Oh wow! So you gotta be thinking about mom always. She always. Likes, she likes the uh, honey stuff, the organic yeah. honey stuff, you know. Huh? That could be a good Christmas present. Could be a good Christmas. Present. Murph said he's doing the same thing. He's little Christmas shopping a little bit. Yeah, I think it's a good spot for it. It's a good spot. For yeah. It. You, anything fancy in your eye? I haven't found anything yet. No, but always looking. You wanna you wanna introduce uh, yourself for oh, wow. for the camera? Oh, this is a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, Tristan Musser. Yes. Um, also Sir. known as Mus Bus. Mus Bus. That's yes. right. Uh, from Michigan. Uh, kind of like Tino there. Yeah. Michigan guys. Yeah, Tino knows. That's it. My buddies. Um, I'm a graduate manager. I take care of uh, hockey operations. Uh, second year with the program with the team. It's been awesome. Love the that's Griffs. It. Go Griffs. Yeah, that's it. So it's been fun. Fun trip so far. Hopefully we'll get her done tonight, get, get two exactly. points, and get on a plane and go home. So. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Tristan, you do a great job with all the videos. Ooh, so thanks, Jeff. It really helps us out. Appreciate it. What do you think, Nolan? Tristan, all right, guy? I'm thinking, oh, Tristan's a good guy, but I'm also thinking that moisturizing in this dry climate it's is important. key. It's it is pretty guy, key. So that's what I'm going with. That's it. Thank you, you just, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs>
After a scoreless first period, Air Force would take the lead early on in the second frame. Canisius would then even things at one after Daniel LaFontaine recorded his third of the season. Now with some nifty hands, he's able to get it back to the point. Now from the Walker, and now Stander. Trying to line up the shot to the top of the left circle, shooting one and laid there in the crease, and they score! Canisius, somehow has tied the game! Ralph Kademi would then give the Griffs their first lead of the weekend after he scored on the power play to make it 2-1 with only 25 seconds remaining in the period. Although the Falcons would tie the game nearly halfway through the third period, Canisius would regain the lead only 39 seconds later. All the way around the goal, Conacher looking at it, he scores! Canisius would then take a two-goal lead after capitalizing on an Air Force turnover. Ryan Schmelzer would find Ralph Kademi at the top of the crease for his second of the game. With a strong performance in goal, Riley Turner would secure the 4-2 victory. The Griffs' sophomore netminder would set a new career high, making 42 saves and earning the game's first star. Turning, shooting, that was blocked in front. Bulgy with a shot that stopped up high by Turner, and that will do it as Canisius earns the split out here in Colorado Springs before heading back home. The Griffs with two points on the weekend and splitting with the Air Force Falcons. So you came off a career high 42 save performance, is that right? Uh, I believe that's correct, yeah. Yeah, big night for you and for the team. What, what's your secret? Um, I don't know, good, <coughs> good night's sleep and uh, good pregame meal. Yeah, that did it for you? I think so, yeah. Hydration as well. What do you think of the team's performance in front of you this weekend? Uh, it was good. We played, played a pretty good team in Air Force. They played really hard. Loud fans. It was, it was a lot of fun. Fun weekend. Yeah. So uh, you live next door in 80 Blaine, and who are your roommates there? We got Mike Sabatini, Jack Stander, and David Peritino. Yeah, are they pretty good roommates? Great guys. Great guys. Who, who's the loudest in your house? The loudest. I mean, it depends what night of the week we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, I'd say Stans is pretty loud. Is he? He's, he's quiet and shy around some people. Get him in the right setting. He's pretty, yeah? He's pretty rowdy, yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good uh, behind the scenes information. Yeah. Thanks, Turn. Yeah. How was your flights this weekend? You know, uh, Felix Chamberlain and Dylan McLaughlin were like my mom and dad in there. <laughs> I was holding their hand, their leg, whatever it took. And they were just really good guys about it. Couldn't yeah. be more grateful for great teammates. Yeah. <laughs> After flying out of Denver and stopping in Chicago, the Griffs returned to Buffalo on Sunday afternoon.